I spun a wheel full of dozens of random Formula One drivers and put them all on their own separate Formula One teams to make a special grid for 2023. Which random team will come out on top? Stay tuned to find out. My name is Chris. Welcome back to CF Racing and enjoy the video. <laughs> Hey everybody, what's going on? Chris here, otherwise known as CF Racing, and today everybody, I have quite a fun little series simulation for you guys, and in this video, I grabbed every single Formula 1 driver in the coding of the F1 2022 game, put them on a wheel, spun that wheel, whatever driver it landed on, I put on a specific team, and basically simulated an entire season from there. So yeah guys, if you guys are new here and you enjoy the content like this, hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends join my discord we are so close to 1000 members it'll be amazing if you guys can join that it's super easy links in the description and with that being said everybody let's take a look at this wheel today's video is sponsored by skillshare 2023 is officially upon us and there's no better way to start the year than learning a brand new skill that can help you in your everyday life skillshare has hundreds of career focused classes that'll help you reinvent yourself find more career options find more financial stability and become a boss that attracts the right clients the future can be intimidating but skillshare believes that there is no goal that is too small for me as a creator i found myself attracted to learning about youtube success and on skillshare I was attracted to the classes from Marquez Brownlee and Sorel Amor. Both have classes that help you script and hook viewers and build a channel that is worth following. To me, that is one of the most important aspects of YouTube. That's why I have a Discord where I interact with all you guys all the time. It is challenging enough to get viewers and it is even more challenging to keep those viewers on your channel. Both classes from Marquez and Sorel help you with that. If you want to check out Skillshare for yourself, use a link in the description and sign up for there. Thank you once again, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video. All right, guys, so we now have a wheel of every single driver that I could use in the cheat tool modification application that I can put on to any specific Formula One team that I want. I have all 2022 Formula One drivers, all 2022 uh, F2 drivers, all 2021 F2 drivers, a bunch of legends. You guys can see their names. I'm going to be scrolling through them. There's a bunch of drivers that used to be in Formula 1 or used to be in F2, like Mahavi Ragunathan, Giovinazzi, you know, Roman Grosjean. I probably spelled all their names wrong. I was just having them really fast. But let's take a look and let's see which drivers will go for which team. And let's start, you know, let's handicap the best teams first. So let's do Williams first. So Williams first driver. If we spin this wheel, it is going to be, looks like it's going to be a really good driver. Oh, it's not. It's uh, pretty good. Aiden Jackson from the F1 2021 game where they had the storyline. So we'll put Jackson down. Write that down, remove his name, and let's spin again for the next Williams driver. Let's see what it is. I thought we were going to get one of the legends. That would have been crazy. It looks like we're going to get an F2 driver here, and this is Ollie Caldwell. Okay, Caldwell. He's going to be joining them. All right, there we go. Let's remove his name, and let's go on to Alpha Tauri next, because I believe they have the next worst car. And this driver looks like it's going to be another F2 driver, Christian Lungard. Hey, what's up? Good to see him. I saw him in IndyCar, actually. Actually. Next one, the second driver for Alpha Tauri. Wow, these pens stink. Gonna be. Is it gonna be Jensen Button driving for Alpha Tauri? Look at that. We have a driver lineup of Christian Lungard and Jensen Button. I feel like that would be a pretty fun driver lineup, not gonna lie. Alright, let's move on to Haas now. Haas's first driver. Hopefully, this is gonna be a good one here. It's going to be Callum Williams, an F2 driver here. Okay, and the second driver for Haas after we spin this wheel, I love this, it's kind of fun to do, is going to be, <coughs> is it going to be Antonio Giovinazzi? No, it's Roman Grosjean. He goes back to Haas. Who would have thought? Wow. And I spelled his name wrong on there again. Awesome. Cool. Next team is Aston Martin. Let's see what the driver they're going to get. Looks like it might be an F1 driver. It's going to be Kevin Magnussen. Okay. 
that's cool. Good to see Kevin Magnuson in Formula One again. You know, like because he's not that he isn't there, but he's there now. Uh, let's see. Aston Martin's next driver gonna be is it gonna be Callum Ila? It is gonna be Callum Ila. Cool. Good for Callum Ila. We really don't have many like top tier drivers so far, like Leclerc. Like I think the best driver on this grid so far is retired Jensen Button or even Kevin Magnussen. But who knows? Maybe we'll we'll get a few of them. I thought a lot of the the top guys were gonna go by now, but. I guess not, and oh, speaking of, here we go, we got a top guy for Alfa Romeo, Lewis Hamilton is driving for Alfa Romeo. This is going to be a weird one, seeing Lewis Hamilton and Alfa Romeo, that's, that's kind of strange. I don't think I've ever seen him, even in the games, get transferred there. The second driver for Alfa Romeo, this could be an interesting one if he gets a real good teammate. Looks like he's going to be getting an F2 teammate. Is it going to be Enzo Fittipaldi? It is Enzo Fittipaldi. Next up, we're moving on to the top half of the team. So we're going to go with Alpine because in the game, McLaren is slightly better than them. So let's see who will be the Alpine driver. One of them, at least. Looks like we're going to get an F1 driver here. Is it going to be Mick Schumacher? It is Mick Schumacher. Okay. Good to see Mick driving for Alpine, which could have actually happened this year. That's pretty cool. And Alpine's second driver. Let's see what is it going to be. Will it be Fernando Alonso? Looks like it's going to be an F2 driver. Or is it Michael Schumacher? Oh, that would have been crazy if we had a Michael and Mick together. But it is going to be Armory Cordiel, or however you pronounce his first name. D-E-E-L. Don't even know if he's an F2 anymore. Or no, I think he should be. I think he is an F2. So, yeah. Cool. Next, we're going to go to McLaren. We got eight spots left on this grid here. McLaren. Let's see what they are going to get. Are they going to get... Is it Alessio Deleda? Oh, my goodness. It is Alessio Deleda. That... <laughs> that's going to be fun. Good job, McLaren. They pick up Alessio Deletto. Let me know, by the way, in the comments if you guys want to see me do more random wheels like this. Uh, McLaren's second driver. No way. Mahavir Ragunathan and Alessio Deletta. Oh, my God. Driving for McLaren. You can't script this. This is... I'm at a loss for words right now. We got Alessio Deletta and Mahavir Ragunathan. On the same team driving for McLaren Wow I'd never thought I'd see the day but this team better win the championship if it doesn't win then I don't know what what team could win the championship here we go we're at Mercedes now Mercedes's first driver is Teo Porsche Teo Porsche good to see him It'd be fun to watch him there Let's see who Mercedes's second driver will be. And really, there's like no F1 drivers on this grid, which is really funny. It looks like we're going to get... Is it Roy Nassani? It is Roy Nassani. We got all the goats. All the F2 goats right now. All the F2 goats in Formula 1. That's awesome to see. We got Toledo, Mahavir, Roy Nassani. Who's next? Like, I don't even know who we're going to get. I mean, Ollie Caldwell's here as well, but you know he's, he was a rookie last year. Um, this is Ferrari's first driver. <laughs> don't tell me. Nikita Mazepin. <laughs> oh my god. I'm making no cuts because this is unbelievable. This is absolutely unbelievable. I'm making no cuts in this entire thing right now. There was a, there will, probably will be a cut where I was writing in between Williams or something because I had to grab a pen because my pen ran out of ink. But other than that, I, I can't believe this. Ferrari's lead driver is Nikita Mazepin. Let's see who their second driver is going to be. Let's see. We're going to enter. Oh, looks like we are entering the Nico Hulkenbergs of the world over here. Hulkenbergs driving for Ferrari. That's a championship threat right there. We got one team left and two seats with all of these drivers left. Who will be on Red Bull? This is interesting. Did not think I would uh, seeing see all these different drivers here. And it looks like it's going to be... Is it Kimi Raikkonen? No, it's Antonio Giovinazzi. Wow. Good to see Antonio Giovinazzi back. And we got one more seat out of all these drivers. Who's it going to be? Let's hope it's not Verstappen so he doesn't dominate. But let's see who it'll be maybe it'll be Charles Leclerc maybe it'll be Jordan King it looks like it is going to be an F1 driver it's going to be Valtteri Bottas no it is going to be Zhou Guangyu wow that's awesome 
Race one in Bahrain was won by Zhou Guangyu, followed by Nico Hülkenberg getting his first ever podium in Formula One, and Antonio Giovinazzi finishing third, followed by Teo Porcher, Nikita Mazepin, Roy Nassani, Lewis Hamilton, Jensen Button, Aiden Jackson, Roman Grosjean, Zhou Guangyu gets the fastest lap, and Nico Hülkenberg got pole position. Race two in Saudi Arabia was also won by Zhou Guangyu, followed by Nico Hülkenberg and Antonio Giovinazzi once again on the podium with Mazepin in 4th, Hamilton 5th, Porsche 6th, Button 7th, Nissani 8th, Grosjean 9th, Aiden Jackson P10, Zhou Guangyu gets the point for the fastest lap, and Nico Hülkenberg had pole position. We have Nikita Mazepin, Mick Schumacher, Teo Porsche, Jensen Button, Lewis Hamilton, Roy Nassani, Armore Cordiel, Antonio Giovinazzi gets the point for the fastest lap, and Zhou Guangyu gets pole position. Race 5 in Miami was won by Zhou Guangyu, followed by Giovinazzi, and in and Nikita Mazepin gets his first ever podium. Mick Schumacher finishes in fourth, followed by Roy Nassani, Lewis Hamilton, Jensen Button, Teo Porsche, Callan Williams, Christian Lungard. Nikita Mazepin gets the fastest lap, and Nico Hülkenberg was on pole. Race six in Spain was won by Nico Hülkenberg, followed by Antonio Giovinazzi and Zhou Guangyu on the podium. From four to ten, we have Nikita Mazepin, Roy Nassani, Lewis Hamilton, Mick Schumacher, Armory Cordiel, Jensen Button, Aiden Jackson, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Nico Hülkenberg gets the pole position. Race 7 in Monaco was won by Zhou Guangyu, followed by Nico Hülkenberg and Giovinazzi on the podium. Seems like these guys are getting on the podium a lot. Teo Porsche finishes in 4th, followed by Hamilton in 5th, Aiden Jackson in 6th, Button in 7th, Mick Schumacher in 8th, Nikita Mazepin in 9th, Roy Nassani 10th, Hülkenberg gets the fastest lap, and Antonio Giovinazzi had pole position. Race 8 in Baku was won by Zhou, followed by Giovinazzi and Nico Hülkenberg rounding out the podium. From 4-10, to 10, we have Nikita Mazepin, Jensen. And Bun, Armory Cordiel, Mick Schumacher, Lewis Hamilton, Teo Porsche, Aiden Jackson, Nico Hülkenberg gets the point for the fastest lap, and Jensen Button had pole position. Race 9 in Canada was won by Antonio Giovinazzi, followed by Nico Hülkenberg and Zhou Guangyu on the podium. From 4 to 10, we have Nikita Mazepin, Teo Porsche, Mick Schumacher, Lewis Hamilton, Armory Cordiel, Jensen Button, Roman Grosjean, Antonio Giovinazzi gets the point for the fastest lap, and had pole position. He probably got a Grand Slam that weekend. Race 10 in Silverstone was won by Nico Hülkenberg, followed by Zhou Guangyu, and Antonio Giovinazzi rounds out your podium. From 4 to 10, we have Nikita Mazepin, Teo Porsche, Mick Schumacher, Roy Nassani, Armory Cordiel, Lewis Hamilton, Aiden Jackson, with the fastest lap point going to Nico Hülkenberg, and pole position also going to Nico Hülkenberg. Race 11 in Austria was won by Zhou Guangyu, followed by Antonio Giovinazzi and Nico Hülkenberg on the podium. Teo Porcher finishes in fourth, followed by Nikita Mazepin, Roy Nassani, Lewis Hamilton, Armory Cordiel, Mick Schumacher, Jensen Button, Antonio Giovinazzi gets the point for the fastest lap, and pole position goes to Zhou Guangyu. In France, Antonio Giovinazzi takes the win, followed by Zhou Guangyu and Nico Hülkenberg. From 4 to 10, we have Teo Porsche, Jensen Button, Nikita Mazepin, Mick Schumacher, Lewis Hamilton, Roy Nassani, Armory Cordiel, Giovinazzi gets the point for the fastest lap, and he also gets pole position. Race 14 in Hungary was won by Zhou Guangyu, followed by Antonio Giovinazzi and Nico Hülkenberg. Teo Porsche finishes P4, followed by Nikita Mazepin, Mick Schumacher, Roy Nassani, Lewis Hamilton, Jensen Button, Aiden Jackson. Jensen Button gets the point for the fastest lap, and Nico Hülkenberg gets point for pole position. In Belgium, Zhou Guangyu takes the win, followed by Nico Hülkenberg in P2 and Antonio Giovinazzi in P3. Nikita Mazepin finishes P4, followed by Mick Schumacher, Teo Porsche, Jensen Button, Roy Nassani, Roman Grosjean, Callum Williams gets point for P10, Zhou Guangyu gets the point for the fastest lap, and Antonio Giovinazzi gets pole position. In the Netherlands, Nico Hülkenberg takes the win, followed by Antonio Giovinazzi in P2 and Zhou Guangyu in P3. Nikita Mazepin finishes P4, followed by Teo Porsche, Lewis Hamilton, Aiden Jackson, Mick Schumacher, Roy Nassani, Jensen Button. Porsche gets fastest lap, and Nico Hülkenberg has pole position. 
in Monza. Antonio Giovinazzi swept his home races this year as he wins in Monza, followed by Zhou Guangyu in P2 and Nico Hülkenberg in P3. Mazepin finishes P4 again, followed by Mick Schumacher, Teo Porsche, Roy Nassani, Jensen Button, Christian Lungard, Roman Grosjean. Giovinazzi gets fastest lap, and he also had pole position. Zhou Guangyu wins in Singapore, followed by Giovinazzi and Hülkenberg rounding out the podium. From 4 to 10, we have Teo Porsche, Nikita Mazepin, Lewis Hamilton, Mick Schumacher, Aiden Jackson, Armory Cordiel, Jensen Button, Giovinazzi gets fastest lap and pole position. In Japan, Zhou Guangyu takes the win, followed by Giovinazzi in P2 and Nico Hülkenberg in P3. Mazepin finishes P4, followed by Mick Schumacher, Jensen Button, Roy Nassani, Lewis Hamilton, Aiden Jackson, Armory Cordiel, and Zhou gets fastest lap and pole position. In Circuit of the Americas, Antonio Giovinazzi comes out on top, followed by Nico Hülkenberg in P2, and Zhou Guangyu rounds out the podium. From 4 to 10, we have Nikita Mazepin, Teo Porsche, Roy Nassani, Mick Schumacher, Lewis Hamilton, Jensen Button, Armory Cordiel. Mick Schumacher gets the point for the fastest lap, and Zhou Guangyu gets pole position. In Mexico, Nico Hülkenberg takes the win, followed by Giovinazzi in P2 and Zhou Guangyu in P3. Mick Schumacher finishes P4, followed by Nikita Mazepin, Roy Nassani, Lewis Hamilton, Armory Cordiel, Jensen Button, Aiden Jackson, Antonio Giovinazzi gets the point for the fastest lap, and he also gets pole position. The penultimate race in Brazil was won by Zhou Guangyu, followed by Nico Hülkenberg in P2 and Antonio Giovinazzi in P3. Mick Schumacher finishes P4, followed by Nikita Mazepin P5, Teo Porsche, Lewis Hamilton, Jensen Button, Armory Cordiel, Christian Lungard finishes P10, Nico Hülkenberg gets the point for the fastest lap, and Zhou Guangyu got the pole position. And in the last race in Abu Dhabi, Antonio Giovinazzi takes the win with Zhou Guangyu finishing P2 and Nico Hülkenberg finishing P3. Teo Porsche finishes P4, followed by Mick Schumacher P5, Armory Cordiel P6, Lewis Hamilton P7, Aiden Jackson P8, Roy Nassani P9, Jensen Button P10, Zhou Guangyu gets the point for the fastest lap, and Nico Hülkenberg had pole position. And now guys, it is time, the season is over, but let's take a look at the final stats to see which team and which driver won the championship. At the end of this season, if you guys were paying attention at all, you would know that Zhou Guangyu absolutely dominated. He got 464 points to finish P1, and Antonio Giovinazzi made it a Red Bull 1-2, finishing in P2 with 435 points. Nico Hülkenberg finished P3 with Mazepin P4, Teo Porsche P5, Mick Schumacher P6, Lewis Hamilton in the Alfa Romeo did a really good job finishing in P7, Roy Nassani finished P8, Jensen Button finished P9, and Armory Cordiel finished in P10. He did a pretty solid job in the Alpine as a rookie. From 11 to 20, we have Aiden Jackson, who did very, very well in that Williams. He scored 32 points in it, which is very impressive. Roman Grosjean finishes in 12th with Lungard in 13th. Callum Williams in 14th. The GOAT, Alessio Deletta finishes 15th with 0 points. Enzo Fittipaldi finishes with 0. Magnussen finishes with 0. Eilat with 0. The other GOAT, Mahavir Ragunathan, finishes in 19th with 0 points. And last, but certainly not least, we have Ali Kahn while in 20th with zero points. The constructor standings look like this. Red Bull on top almost scoring 900 points. That could have been, that would have been awesome if they really did that. I don't think I've ever seen a team do that. As they score 899, Ferrari finish in P2 with 610. Mercedes finish P3 with 270. Pretty solid performance from Teo Porsche and Roy Nassani for them there. Alpine finish P4 with 209 points. Alfa Romeo was basically carried by Lewis Hamilton. They finish P5. Al Alfa Tauri finish P6. Williams finish P7. Haas P8. McLaren is the biggest droppers on this list. As we all know, their drivers were Deletta and Mahavir. I mean, pretty solid driver lineup if you ask me, but they did not perform, which sucks. And in dead last, we have Aston Martin. So guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys did enjoy and you want to see more simulation content like this, hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends, join the Discord. We're almost at a thousand members. It'll be great if you guys can join that. And with that being said, see you guys next time. Goodbye.